What's up everyone, how's it going? Spawning in the northwestern side as our purple Englishman, we have Dragovan. Ah. Over here in the southeast, we have Orange Uten28 as our red Aabids. I looked him up to see if this was an alt account, what was going on. I don't know if you guys have heard of him at all. But apparently this is someone named Maureen Lord. I think that's how you say it. Or Maureen Lord? M Lord, I think. I don't know. I'm pretty sure he's a kind of a low conqueror player. I don't know. Haven't heard of him. Not too familiar. I think he used to play StarCraft. We'll see how good he is, though, in this game. For those of you who didn't catch the sarcasm, I know who Marine Lord is. I was actually a huge fan of his back in StarCraft 2. He was solid, solid yeah, player. Yeah. Even though in the beginning, I got him, uh, I would get him confused with, um, holy crap, why can't I remember? Whatever, side story. <laughs> I shouldn't have started the story because I couldn't remember the freaking player's name. But anyways, we have a nice little early farm going on for Dragoman right now. This is an extremely rare opener that we don't see that often anymore. It's still solid. It's good. I still like it. It's just it doesn't get used anymore, really. <laughs> Two villagers on gold rest on food really solid have the fishing economy going up for m lord single boat nothing too special do like it though it doesn't look like he's going to be committing too much to the uh to the boat though he only has two villagers on wood at the moment so he'll be trickling in um his fishing economy little by little it's not that big of a deal to him he just wanted to get the dock up and one boat one fishing boat up and running as soon as possible but from there it looks like he's just gonna go kind of into a standard play and using the boat economy or the fishing boat economy just to like be an extra boost not his primary source in the early game and we are getting the abbey of kings absolutely love this love the abbey only reason I love the Abbey is because it's not the Council Hall, which means we're going to get a little bit different playstyle than normal, which I'm okay with. I'm fine with not seeing 300 longbows getting massed and seeing some form of variety. For those of you not too familiar with Marine Lord, he is a Frenchman. He's absolutely amazing. In my opinion, he is Amruk. the best, easily the best uh, a AOE4 player. Yeah, he had a little bit of a... Uh, he didn't perform as well in the most recent EGC TV tournament, but that's fine. It's okay. He'll be... He'll for sure make the rounds next time. I, I have a lot Ship. of faith in this guy. He is extremely good. He showed... He showed the world in StarCraft 2 how good he was, and he's been showing the world how good he is in AoE 4 as well. So, for me, he's easily the best uh, AoE 4 player. He really is. And we are going to be getting the economic wing growth, which is three villagers, I believe. Yes. Yeah, three villagers for free once that completes, and then his orchards gain an additional 50 food. So they jump up to 450, I believe it is, or 400, because they have, I think, orchards give an additional 100 food. Let's see, let's double check this. Yeah, so then it jumps up to 400 food. 250 plus orchard, 150 equals 600, right? Okay, let me know in the comments down below if my math was accurate there. King is out. That is a very forward well I, not very that's a pretty damn forward uh archery range though almost in the center of the map did it get scouted i think it did right 
Let me see. Ah, oh, I forgot. It doesn't show us what buildings they've seen. King is going to go in. Attempt for the charge. No response from... Okay, there we go. The charge is still going to be able to connect, but it's not going to be able to get the kill, which is fine. A lot of damage is going to be going on to the king. It needs to back off. King, you're not as strong as Jean d'Arc. You can't stay there that long. King needs a buff. Like, I'll be... I'm not going to be the first one to say that. Of course, there's been a lot of people that have said it before me, but I will be one of the people voicing the same opinion as a lot of other people in this situation, at least. The king needs a buff. It really does. I feel it's so weak in comparison to so many units. Yeah, it's a feudal age armored knight. Well, armored cavalry. What's well, a knight, right? It, it's a little bit stronger than your basic knight. Very slightly stronger though. It's weaker than Jean d'Arc. It's weaker than... I think it's slightly weaker than your... Than the French knight. We have a Desert Raider out. Oh, I'm pretty sure the Desert Raider beats it too. Five melee armor. Yeah. Pretty sure the Desert Raider beats it in a one-on-one. -on -one. Interesting. Yeah, it has does 26 damage, five melee armor, 16 damage, two melee armor, 220 health versus 120. So it has 100 extra, but then it also has the damage reduction on it, so it reduces it by 20 percent. So it'd be the roundup, I think. So it would reduce it by three. We'll see right now when it gets in range. Is it gonna be? Yeah, so it does reduce it by three. So that's gonna be 13 damage against 26. Look at how the Desert Raider just chunks it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so the King dies easily to the Desert Raider. This push is gonna get completely crushed as well. The king is going to be forced to retreat. There's absolutely nothing that this English player is going to be able to do against Marine Lord right now. Nice attempt, but damn. That Desert Raider was just chunking the crap out of the king right there. Dragobon sitting on six military, 28 villagers. He is going to obviously be behind the bills because Marine Lord did go for the economic wing growth for those extra three villagers. But it also looks like it's, oh, no, no, excuse me. It's because of the extra villagers up here on the northern side. Well, technically workers on the other side. So that's going to be a five worker lead. It looks like, uh, okay. He has just under 400 food left remaining on the fishing, uh, on the shoreline fish. Dragovan, 11 military, 4 spears, 6 longbows, the king. Marine Lord, 18 military, 14 archers, 2 horsemen, and a desert raider. Within forward facing outpost, already with arrow slits as well, in order to get the extra defense going. This is looking kind of bad for our Englishman at the moment. We'll see what he tries to do. He will be able to go in. No, he doesn't. Oh yeah, he does have enough for it. I thought it was a little bit more, but there it goes. Culture wing advancement coming through. Marine Lord's gonna be hitting castle in the next minute. Yeah. Once he hits castle, starts getting those veterancies. Did switch over. Marine Lord did switch a five of his villagers over from gold to stone. So not entirely sure what he has planned there. If he's going to try to go for a keep or if he's going to go for more outposts, stone walls. We'll have to wait and see. Speaking of which, I actually do need to update my tournament rules. I forgot to add no um, feudal age stone walls, towers, things like that. But anyways, that's going to be future me problem. Well, by the time this video comes out, I guess that was, it's going to be past me problem. Hopefully past me solution. 
future me problem from casting. Yes. Time travel is difficult, I agree. Dragomon getting a nice little massive military going on, 25 total now. All his buildings are forward, so if his... If this push gets completely crushed, he's gonna be in a very difficult position. Because Dragomon, or excuse me, Marine Lord will be able to just push through this and then he'll immediately be inside of the infrastructure of our English player fortification is out on, has been put on the outpost. We need to get a full rep around. Oh, nope, that's not gonna go through. Charge does go. Nice little kiting coming out of Marine Lord for his archers picking up individually picking off the spears, which is their job. They should be longbows doing the reverse, picking off the enemy archers one at a time. But look at this trail of purple right there. That was not good for Dragovan. He was also taking substantial damage from the outpost right here as well. Quite a few longbows were just standing under that, taking a decent amount of damage. Every single one of the spears did get picked off by Marine Lord's archers. And now we're going to be getting walls. And this is basically just going to be... This is going to be to sandbag the counterattack. That's all this is for. So when Dragovan... Well, Dragovan knows that he's not going to be able to push through anymore because Marine Lord is on or is in Castle Age. Veterancies are going to be finishing up in his mind anyways, of course. He doesn't know exactly. But if I was Dragovan, I would be assuming that Veterancies should be finishing up fairly soon because he has been Castle Age for about two minutes now. His eco is going to be pretty strong. So I'm going to have to, from this point forward, play a little defensive in order to get into Castle Age myself. Of course, as viewers, we have all the information. We know Veteran C barely is going to finish. King and Scout go in. I'm surprised the Scout's still alive. Damn. Good job, Scout. And now Veteran C for the Archers is done. I don't think Veteran C for the Camel Raider. I'm pretty sure he hasn't even thought about going that route yet. Yeah, Camel Lancer out as well. Let's see. Yeah, it's still just gonna be the three damage. Oh, I think. I don't. Actually, I don't know if uh, the Aabids have that unique upgrade where it further increases uh, the Camel Unease ability. I have to double check that. Hmm. Hmm. King's Palace getting dropped. Gonna try to go into that TTC. Eco boost. He is behind, but two of those are being idled. No villager kills for either side. And the knight, I mean, excuse me, the king will be going down at this rate. Oh, the archers are moving over here to this side as well. He's just Dragovan is just trying to buy as much time as he can with these or with this king. Try to sag, sandbag it as much as he can. Walls are getting set up over here on the southeastern side as well. That's going to be a huge wall. That's a, that's going to be a lot of resources that he doesn't have right now. Nice little farm eco going. Good transition. We're going to see what he's going to be able to do, though. He just hit Castle, and we already have quite a few of the veterancies and Castle Age upgrades finished up for Marine Lord. Is he building? Okay. Marine Lord builds a ram, sitting on 34 archers, three camel lancers, two dervish, grabbing up those already grabbed up and checked in, turned in two relics. Third relic is going to be on its way. Longbows are going to start shooting the ram. Not really too important at the moment. It will be able to break this down as soon as it breaks down, though. That's going to be a lot of damage. 
we're gonna have to see if Marine Lord's micro is as good as we believe it to be. Because he's going to have to single target fire so many units right now for his cavalry to be able to do anything. And it's, oh, he almost gets the brace off. Almost skewers a couple of those camel lancers, and now he's going to be pushing forward. There's too many archers here. He is able to one shot consecutively so many of the front line units, and now he's going to be pushing them back. Ram is going to be focused firing down the outpost, and this is the crucial mistake of putting so many buildings in the front line that it doesn't matter. As soon as you get crushed, they're going to be on top of your infrastructure. This is a this is the definition of an all-in right here. GG did get called. Marine Lord is our winner as our Aabid player. Thank you so much. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.